Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 15 home screen widgets that you can get in 2022. Now, of course, with the release of iOS 14 home screen widgets, there have been a lot of widgets that have been released. But nowadays, it seems like devs are not really releasing a lot of new widgets, even though there are some new ones that are pretty cool. But of course, that might be due to Apple not adding new features to the widgets with iOS 15 like making them interactive and things like that but hopefully that will change with the release of ios 16 this year even though of course there are a lot of cool widgets and some very very useful one that i believe you must have on your device in this video i will show you guys 10 of those now we're starting things off with a pretty cool new widget that has recently been released and this has been actually very very popular it is called lock it and what it allows you to do is share photos with your friends on the home screen so you can send photos to your friends and they will appear on their home screen of course via the widget that they will add through the app the app is pretty simple to use all you gotta do is once you install the app enter your phone number and then of course you can go to the contacts right here enable contacts and then all you have to do is just take a picture and pick friends right here from your contacts list send them the picture and the pictures will appear on their home screen and of course they will appear on your home screen once a friend sends you a picture through this app next up is widget now widget allows you to add a lot of different widgets on the home screen of your device like you can see four of those right here we have a countdown right there we have followers for instagram and we have right there a daily quote and right here a daily word that you need to learn pretty cool especially the ability to have your followers on the home screen you can do that for twitter instagram facebook and tiktok as well there are not many apps that offer this and most of them that do are actually paid and they will require you a payment or a subscription to do that now what you gotta do of course just go to one of them and just go ahead and enter the username right here and add the widget then you will have all of your widgets right here once you go to the home screen you tap to edit the widget here and just choose what you want to display there you will have your instagram or your twitter there just choose and it will appear on your home screen next up is folder shortcuts now this app allows you to add shortcuts to your files and folders from the files app of ios so you can see right here i have a smaller widget which only contains one file or one folder whichever one you use and i have here a medium one you can also add a bigger one with more files and folders now the way it works you simply tap right there it will open the file on the files app now the way to add these what you gotta do is tap on add shortcut and if you want to add a file you tap here and select the file from the files app if you want to add a folder what you need to do is go ahead and select a file within the targeted folder so the folder that you want to actually use you go ahead and pick a file from that folder and you're good to go you can then go ahead and add that folder to your files and folders on the widget Next up is WidGetter. Now this one is really interesting as well. It allows you to have your Twitter timeline on the home screen. Now you can see right here, you can have tweets with text like this, or you can have this like gallery mode, which displays pictures from your timeline. So what you need to do, you tap on one of them and it will open that basically that picture on the Twitter app. Now the way it works, you simply go into the app and from here you add your timeline. And when you go here, you can choose if you wanna have the gallery mode or you wanna have the tweets like this. So let's go ahead, enable or disable that. And then of course, choose right here on the widget, how you wanna display it, tap on edit widget. And you can choose whichever one you want. And it will change between the, the tweets and of course the gallery mode on the home screen. Next up is Smart Battery. Now this is an amazing app with amazing widgets. It allows you to have basically anything you need to know regarding your device on the home screen. So right here we have the seller data usage. You can see the download and the upload are right there. Right here, we have the storage, so you can see what we have right there, the free, the used, and of course, what we have available right there. And here, we have the battery. Now you can see what it shows. It shows the percentage of battery, and then it shows you how much you can listen to music, video, gaming, and also you have their game. So basically choose whatever you wanna do and you can have here all the hours and the minutes that you will be able to do that thing with the percentage of battery that you currently have on your device. 
Now, next up is, of course, a widget. Now, widget, I know it's an app that has been released a long time ago, but the, the reason I put this app on most of my widgets video is because you always have new widgets with this app. Every day, you will basically find new widgets that will be added to widget. Now, you can see right here, this one is pretty amazing and it looks actually really, really cool. Now, I will leave the devs twitter account on the description of this video you can go visit it there and of course take a look on how you can get this exact widget that i have on the home screen on your device otherwise you can just install widget and you will have a bunch of other widgets to install from this app so simply open widget and you can go to explore right here you will have a bunch of different widgets that will be released every day so you can sort them here we can go to the pop popular ones or the new ones right here you can see a ton of really really cool widgets with actually a lot of information you can add to your device now the way to add these is pretty simple you just go ahead and find a widget that you like simply tap on it and you can go ahead and import it on your device dismiss it right there go to manage and from here just choose on the slots where you want to put it so you will have a bunch of slots here if you have a paid version if you have the free version you can only add one and you can also set a transparent background so what you need to do here to set a transparent background for the widgets that actually support a transparent background you go to the home screen go to the edit mode and just go to the last page like this it looks like this well no icons at all take a screenshot and then just load it here and you're good to go you can have transparent widgets just like this one right here next up is activity tracker now with activity tracker you can have all the information from your activity app on the home screen of your device they can have things like the distance you have walked the steps you can have right there you can see walking the the time the calories burned and everything else now right here we'll have a bigger one you have your awards right there you have the movement you will have the rings here the steps the distance you have covered during the day pretty awesome i know the apple doesn't offer this with the health app on ios but with this app you can have all the information you need to have about your daily activity exercises and all that stuff next up is pure clock now pure clock is an app that offers different clocks for the home screen now if you like to have a cool clock on the home screen and not use the default one by ios you can have one of these that actually look really really cool you can see this one right here pretty dope now the way it works you basically open the app and just add any widget you want now some of them are actually paid but of course you can go ahead and add all these free ones there are a bunch of them that are free you can even make these transparent the same way you do with widget take a screenshot at the last page of your home screen where there are no icons and then from here just go to settings and just go to widget transparency and just load that screenshot from there for the light in the dark mode and then when you go to one of the widgets you have on the home screen just tap on edit widget and choose the background theme choose transparent right here and choose the alignment so we have there top right so you choose the position where it is and you can see right there it turns into a transparent widget that actually looks really really cool next up in my opinion one of the most useful widgets that you will get on ios is the google widget it allows you to quickly search google directly from the home screen tap right there go ahead and search immediately you can also use your lens you can go into a cognition mode you can go into a voice search or just search with a medium widget these are the only two widgets that this app offers but you can just tap on anywhere here it will basically go right into the app and let you search directly from there so it's pretty cool and of course very very useful whichever one you tap it will go into that mode so kind of interactive and of course allows to quickly search anything you need and last but not least is phone usage anything you need to know regarding your device the battery percentage the cpu usage and of course the ram memory usage you can see right there your cellular data you will have here a smaller one for the ram memory it will show you the active the inactive and of course the free ram memory you have one for battery as well and it offers a bunch of other widgets that will display information regarding your device pretty pretty useful anything you need to know for your device for the cpu ram memory anything you can have these widgets from this app add them to the home screen they will display a bunch of very useful information
So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos like this. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video. It really helps out a lot. And if you need to install any of these widgets, make sure you go ahead and check out the pinned comment. You will find all the links there. Again, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.